Grand Cayman is by far our favorite island to visit, and every time we go, we always stay at the Caribbean Club. So now that we've had a little time to put all of our content together, here's a little vlog, our recommendations, and some outfits I wore while I was on the trip. Plus, make sure you guys watch to the end because my son made an adorable video, which he's calling Nate Rates, where he rates some of his favorite places on a scale from 1 to 10. We need to go back. So we just got to the JFK airport. We're parking at the TWA hotel, which looks amazing. Getting ready to go to Grand Cayman. Let's, Let's go. go. So the only travel essential you really need is right here. Melissa's cupcakes, baby. Ready to go to Grand Cayman, gonna do a little airport fit check. So I always keep it simple and comfortable. I'm just wearing a Terry short set with a button down shirt from Super Massive. And then I got the cardigan from Aces High, the straw hat from Jay Peterman, backpack from Coach, the Yohan shoes. Four flight number 765, Grand Cayman. Woo! Can't wait. We just got the Caribbean Club. I'm super stoked. It's one of my favorite places to visit. It's kind of like a home away from home, it feels like here. The staff is amazing. The room is gorgeous. You don't really have to talk about Grand Cayman. If you know, you know. It's just gorgeous here. I wanted to give you guys a little fit check while I'm here. I had to pick up some new pieces from one of my new favorite brands, Dandy Del Mar. I got these new swim shorts, which are super cool. Very retro vibe. A great length. And then I, I like got... The shirt. You like the shirt? Yeah. Nathan just gave the approval for the shirt. The shirt is a nice terry cloth button down. It has like a very vintage western vibe to it, which I dig. I actually picked up the matching shorts as well, but I really love the way it looks with the baiting too. It's definitely a very versatile piece and a great color. I'm about to go hit that ocean. Show me the ocean. So you wouldn't believe it, but it was literally downpouring like 15 minutes ago. We thought it was going to be a washout day, and now it's like paradise. Halfway to a reef that's out there about a hundred yards. There was a little piece of coral and I showed a sick, sick eel. Really? Uh, yellow and white with brown spots all over. It's absolutely beautiful. That's awesome. Amazing. So I just want to talk about one of my favorite pieces that I always take on vacation. It's definitely an essential for me. It's a J. Peterman wicker hat. I don't know what the material is, but it's held up. I mean, it still is brand new. I've had it for how many years? It got to be like eight years, it feels like it at this point. Up? It's actually fallen off of my head while on a boat. I had to jump in the water to grab it. So it's been wet. It's actually really comfortable. It has the elastic, the sweatband, which is really cool. And it's a piece that I never go on vacation without. And I just love the way it looks. Definitely an essential. And I love J. Peterman. Great brand. And this is Ricky, playing ball with our son Nate.
right, so it's the first night in Grand Cayman. We love going to Kamana Bay. It's one of our favorite spots to go to at night, whether it be hitting up one of the restaurants or for some gelato. But let's get into the fit check. So again, I told you I grabbed some pieces from Dandy Damar. This is probably one of my favorite pieces I grabbed from them. It's a crochet shirt. I love the brown and the cream tones. Definitely gives it that really vintage vibe. I'm paired it with one of my favorite shorts that I own from Numero Ventuno. It's a new espadrille that I just picked up off of Amazon. A really cool find for only $42. Shorts and shoes. I think they go well together. Got the Nate approval. Nate staying with the comfy cozy. Here I got my Yeezy slides, my personal favorite of the outfit. And again with his Oakley is that he never leaves home without. Yep. My items. What do we have? What do we have? So what is this? This is octopus Papaccio. Papaccio. <laughs> Having a little espresso, watching the beautiful blue water. Caribbean Club Row. Getting ready in a couple minutes to go to Stingray City on a couple jet skis. It's gonna be super fun. I am super stoked. Nate's super stoked. We're gonna share a jet ski. I'm gonna let him rip it a little bit by himself with me on the back. Cheers. Fish Adventure Jet Ski Tour. It's only about a 20 minute drive from the Caribbean Club. We're actually at the first stop, which is Starfish Point. It's about a 15 minute ride on the jet ski to get here, which is super fun. So you know, fun. Very choppy out here, but it's amazing. Let's go see these starfish. So we just found our first starfish. You cannot take him out of the water. Hi, friend. See you. the water. Show the camera. Hold them upside down. You're not blocking. Oh, nice. He's so cute. That was George. Oh my gosh, he's beautiful. I think it's a slow. All right, the next dog comes snorkeling at Rump Point Reef. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're here at the main attraction, Stingray City. Probably like at least our fourth time being here. It's a must if you come to Grand Cayman. But it's some stingrays everywhere and it's amazing. And I think what they say, if you kiss a stingray, it's good luck, I think. Yeah, yeah. if you kiss a stingray, it's good luck. So make sure you come here and kiss a stingray. Woo! Yeah, so up there is pretty sharp and rough as well. What's her name again? I'm Dion. And her name? This is Darth Vader. Darth Vader. Oh, she's so beautiful. Here you going, girl. Woo! Stingrays everywhere. Much to see spot when you come to Grand Cayman for and sure. And if you kiss one, it's good luck. And if you kiss one, it's good luck. Go ahead, Nate. Give it a kiss. Everybody kiss it. Oh, yeah. It's already been made. Really? So that's she's probably only like water for your soul. Take her fist, put your thumb inside, and then put it right underneath her. So we just finished the jet ski tour and now we're at the Sunshine Grill, which is another place that we always stop at anytime we come to Grand Cayman. It's a great lunch spot. They have great food. I love getting the fish tacos. Delicious drinks. This is the Peach Sunshine, which they describe as summer in a glass and it tastes amazing. Cheers. Gonna do a little fit check. Rocking a Dandy Del Mar shorts, which I absolutely love. Definitely my new favorite bathing suit. Got the new espadrilles on that I picked up from Amazon and the uh, button down crochet shirt that I showed you yesterday, which is also from Danny Del Mar. And then rocking the Burberry sunglasses, which I absolutely love, aviators. Move, mister. His eyeballs is like you. He's so cute. got back from the beach. 
We had a nice walk on the beach. We hung out in the pool. We had some pina coladas. Real good time. But now we're going to get ready to go to dinner. We're actually going to Nate's favorite spot on the island. Let's get into the fit a little bit. So I just picked up these new shorts from Gail Paris, which is becoming one of my favorite brands to wear. This is actually my second pair of shorts from them. I picked them up from Ukes. I got them on sale, which I always love a good sale. I love the pleats. It has like a nice boxy cut. Because we're on vacation, I kept it a little lighter. You know, I always have to wear a white tank under my button down for the most part, but I went with a mesh tank instead of a plain white tank from Hanes, which is what I normally wear. I paired that with a floral shirt, one that I've had probably for five or six years. Still one of my favorite. I've loved the red. I actually picked the red shirt specifically for tonight because my son Nathan, who I'm very proud, dressed himself today and picked out this shirt that has red in it with the red shorts. So I wanted to wear red to match with him. He's also wearing my Burberry sunglasses. And I hate to say it, or maybe I love to say it, they actually look way better on him than they do me. And he's also rocking his Yeezys, as you guys can see, which he loves. And I'm wearing my togas, which I love because it's kind of a way that I can still get that like boot western vibe, but in kind of a, a summer shoe. So let's go have some dinner. So in case you guys want to know where I get it from, this is my mother pulling her best blue collar prep right here. <laughs> working it, girl. <laughs> this is my beautiful mother. And this is my handsome stepfather, who is also rocking some florals. And now yeah, we're off to dinner, right? Off to dinner, Grand Cayman Yay. style, baby. Woo! So we just got to the restaurant Papa Del. We love the ambiance here. It's right on the water. Let's go get some good food. What's this? Try morning from the caribbean club grand cayman baby heading down to seven mile beach just got a workout in i'm feeling good now me and my babe about to go for a little walk on the beach okay so we were planning on hanging out at the hotel today but because of the storm the water is a little murky so we decided to switch it up we're headed over to the grand cayman turtle center we're going to swim with some turtles we're super stoked they have a whole bunch of other attractions as well let's go have some fun see some turtles so this is the lagoon we're about to go snorkeling with some turtles nice all geared up ready to go we've done this before but what like 10 years ago yeah the first time ago? we came here I mean, 10 years ago i wasn't even I was he wasn't even born oh, okay. <laughs> Get on in, guys. Oh my God, that was so cool. There's so many turtles everywhere, all different sizes. They come up so close to you, a couple bump into you. You're not supposed to touch them, but a couple bump into you. It's amazing. They got a nice window so you can see the sharks. Definitely a very cool experience. Not sure what he said, but. <laughs> so one of the cool things about the Cayman Turtle Center is on the other side of the center, they have this really big pool, as you can see, with a waterfall, a water slide. We're about to go on a water slide, right, bud? Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> he went so slow. Did I land on you? <laughs> So we just got to Makabuka, which is one of my favorite lunch spots here. It's a really cool and unique experience because you can eat and you can also do some snorkeling right outside the restaurant as well, which is really cool. So we're gonna eat, we're gonna have some drinks, and then we're gonna do some swimming. So the fam already has some drinks ordered. What'd you get? Cheers, I got, what is this, the Makalada? I got much slide, there was no alcohol, don't worry. <laughs> so we got the blackened mahi tacos. I got mine with some plantain chips, so the goods. at 
So another one of the big tourist attractions here in Grand Cayman is hell. As you can see, it just <laughs> looks like black coral. Literally it's looks limestone, like hell. Actually. Is it limestone? That's what I think the sign says. But it does look like coral. All right, guys, just throwing my dinner fit. Went all linen with this one. Threw on a nice, flowy, long linen shirt. A pair of linen pants from Banana Republic. Some easy slides that I picked up from Amazon. Sorry to hijack your fit check, but you said <laughs> easy. I got Yeezys. Oh! <laughs> yeah, look at these beautiful accessories. Ooh, you're the accessory. I'm the main character. <laughs> <laughs> you're so cute. So Stay Nathan's time. outfit, I feel like you look super handsome, right? Rocking a Ben Sherman right, fit. We got this from Marshalls, I we think. We did. Ben Sherman. Alright guys, yeah. dinner time. No, oh, this is cupcakes. <laughs> Nothing beats that Caribbean sunset. So another great thing about Caribbean Club is they actually have an amazing restaurant, Luca, that is attached at, right at the bottom floor of the hotel. It's absolutely amazing Italian food. We definitely eat here at least once every time we come. We usually save it for the last night because it feels a little special. It's really beautiful. You can watch the sunset, good food, nothing can beat it. We're actually going to do it for the first time and check it out. Still going. So we just got to the top deck of the observation tower. It's a nice little walk up, very pretty tile. You get a beautiful view. Definitely something you should do one time. I don't know if you got to keep doing it, but yeah. it's still cool. Once a trip, I'd say it's good. So we're eating dinner and Nate spotted this huge land crab. Look at him. He's, He's so freaking cute. awesome. What's up, dude? We're chill. We're chill. He's big, way bigger than the ones we saw on the beach, yeah. right? Hey, guys. How's it Today we went to Smith Cove or Smith Barca Deer. It's about 10 minutes from Caribbean Club. It's a cool little cove. Great snorkeling. They got a little bit of a cliff jump you could do over there. Yeah, I love doing that. And since of the rocky kind of terrain over there, you can see a lot of cool fish. Let's do some snorkeling. Yeah. So I absolutely love Smith Cove. The snorkeling is top notch. We saw a cuttlefish. We saw a, a bunch of different other beautiful fishes like as well. A swordfish thing. You have a, a swordfish looking thing. It's almost like you're going on an excursion, except that you don't have to pay for it. And to me, it's almost pretty close to like having a diving experience because you have almost like a wall the whole way along the shore. It's a very cool spot and it's free, which is super awesome. And it's only 10 minutes away from the hotel. But the Caribbean From the Caribbean couple of yeah. dives. Woo! Yeah, we're gonna be 
So we're here at Georgetown. We're gonna do a little shopping. We always stop at Guy Harvey's restaurant for lunch. And we're also gonna pick up some swim shirts as well from there because I love their swim shirts. They has one and I've been jealous since the last time we came here. So let's do a little shopping, a little eating, a little drinking. So we are here at Guy Harvey's Boathouse in Georgetown. We just got some pina coladas. We're gonna get a bunch of food. Nate just picked up this cute Guy Harvey shirt. We actually all just picked up Guy Harvey shirt. It's a place we come to every time we come here for lunch after we do some snorkeling. A lot of times we do scuba diving right here as well. Oh, actually Grandpa got a new Guy Harvey shirt as well. That he's also wearing. <laughs> Cheers. What's going on guys? So unfortunately we've hit some bad weather, but I'm still dressed to impress the day. I'm wearing my little Danny Del Mar matching set. I got the Terry the shirt with the Western vibe, very resort wear. With Jay Peterman hat, matching Terry cloth shorts, which I absolutely love matching sets, especially in summertime. Now let's talk about what I'm wearing. <laughs> I got yeah, that's right. I always wear the same payment and my So we just came up from the pool, now we're gonna head out to dinner. So I wanted to keep it nice and sharp, so I went with an all black outfit. My son went with a uh, leopard print matching set, which I really dug. So to match him, I went with a pair of black Numero Ventuno shorts, which are probably one of my favorite shorts right now. I have them in brown as well. I went with the Brighton belt, the black fixed button down. This is probably one of my favorite shirts from their collection. And then I went with a white tank, but I switched it up. Instead of the classic white Hanes tank that I normally wear, I went with a little mesh shirt. I feel like it's a little dressier and a little more summary with the mesh material and then i went with probably one of my favorite shoes that i own right now which are the what the f are these toga Barillas. which are the toga Barillas because it still i feel like embodies my style but a little bit more summary Right in front of the Caribbean Club Hotel, you have the famous beach, Seven Mile Beach. And about a hundred yards into it, or a football field into it, you can see an amazing reef with loads of different kinds of fish. Let's go. So we just got back from snorkeling and it is always world class yeah. snorkeling out no, there. No, hold on. We saw something, I'm not going to tell you until the end, but we saw something that is probably the best thing you could ever see in here. So we saw the usual beautiful colorful fish, we saw a nice sized lobster, we saw a school of cuttlefish which is always really cool to see. What else did we see out there? We always oh, saw angelfish which I always yeah. love seeing, they're so beautiful. Barracuda. We saw two barracudas. Yeah, a, a pretty big one. And then, you know, we had a good time, we're out yeah. there, we're swimming back. But then, back, when we were cash. swimming back, my grandpa, he just said, oh look, there's some turtles. Which, he didn't over exaggerate at all. In fact, he under exaggerated it. Yeah. They were turtles bigger than him. They had to one be was riding each five, other. five feet long turtles. The biggest turtles I have ever seen in my life. There was three of them plus a little baby turtle. Honestly, the most majestic and beautiful yeah, experience Yeah, one was like of right, life. one was like on top of one. <laughs> and right from the beach, right from the Caribbean Club yeah, of Beach. Like, it's epic. And not even 100 feet out, like 30, 20 feet out? Yeah, maybe? that was pretty close actually. Or a yard summit. Well, awesome that snorkeling. was amazing. E epic. You need to come here. Epic. This is like so not up there, like how it was yesterday. I don't think you're ever those freaking turtles. The ocean deck. Yeah, 
going on guys so we got another fit check here from the Caribbean Club in Grand Cayman you know I love those brown tones so I went with an all brown outfit I just picked up these corduroy shorts from Dandy Del Mar I love the cut the length they definitely have that real like vintage retro vibe I paired it with a white tank and this really rad vintage Hawaiian print shirt that I actually picked up at a local thrift shop in Beacon New York I love this shirt I love that it's still Hawaiian but it's like brown so it, I feel like it gives up a different vibe than like a colorful Hawaiian shirt definitely my style I could western it up or I could go with a vintage retro style like I'm doing right now and then these are espadrilles that I picked up from Amazon which I absolutely love unfortunately I, I will say that you do not want to get these wet I played in the water with Nate and they kind of shrunk a little bit which is kind of a bummer but overall I still like them and I'm also rocking these sunglasses from Burberry which I picked up at Sunglass Hut refreshing drink before yeah, dinner don't worry it's lemonade <laughs> cheers bud i love you we're waiting for the lady to finish getting done yeah probably gonna be another hour or two <laughs> then we're gonna head to kamana bay get some dinner a little gelato right yep dinner at aqua we haven't been there right. yet cheers to it. a perfect day right today was perfect cheers So we're back at Kamana Bay and we always love to stop, take some pictures and for the family here on this little island they have at the marina. It's so beautiful. And sometimes we like to stop and have a drink before dinner and then we always usually end the night with some gelato or playing in the fountains. Kamana Bay is, I don't know why, it's one of my favorite er areas in Cayman. And I love this little island we have right here. Fortunately, they removed the hammock, I don't know why, but it's still a great place to hang out. We added that little table right there. And soon they'll have all the lights on, right? It'll be even prettier. Yeah. And it doesn't get any prettier than this. So what we're doing, approach the turn. Instead of actually my pasta, I get to have free ice cream. What you got, Nate? I got. <laughs> what I get? I don't even remember what it All was. Right. So we had an amazing trip at the Caribbean Club. It's always so hard to leave. Probably some of the best memories of the year are from here. Nate's been coming here for how many years? He's what, like four or five years old? Three, four, five. So this was your first flight, wasn't it? First yeah. flight, yeah. first passport. It's still one of our favorite places to visit. There's so many memories. It really feels like a home away from home. Until next we, time. Yeah. Bye, Caribbean Club. Next one. 
next up on the list, we have the Cayman Turtle Center. This is one of my personal favorite places because I love turtles. And you can also see sharks here, and it's just amazing. It's definitely a place you need to go, so for me, it's a 10 out of 10. So one of the big aspects in Grand Canyon is the beach. And that's where we're going to be right now. Since this is one of the most important parts of the Cayman Islands and all of like the Caribbean islands, I have to give this a 10. I mean, what am I going to give it a 1? And also look at that sunset. I think we can also agree that's also a 10. On to the next one. One of the coolest places in Cayman, in my opinion, is Heck, <laughs> um, just look at this. I mean, where else are you gonna find this? I don't remember the story behind it, but if you're into science and geology and stuff, this place is for you. My personal rating is an eight out of 10. One of the most popular places in Grand Cayman is Kamana Bay and that's where we will be raiding. There's a nice little island around me and some of the best restaurants in Grand Cayman, such as Agua, not Aqua, but Agua. Oh, and a pasta and an amazing gelato place. They also have some water fountains that you can go in and have a blast. <laughs> Come on, Bay is one of my favorite places, so 10 out of 10. So next up on the list, I know I just did Kamana Bay, but in Kamana Bay there is an observation deck that gives you an amazing view. I've yet to do it so you guys can get my honest opinion and my first opinion. Let's do it. So we've reached the top of the observation deck or tower, I'm not really sure. I'm calling it the Observation Tower. And basically, pretty fun. It gives an amazing view of the whole Kamana Bay and the Mount of Grand Haven. You can probably see all the way the other part of the island from here. And for the rating, I will give this a 7.5 out of 10. All right, now we have, uh, sorry, I'm talking about this. Now we have Smith Cove, I think, yes, yeah, Smith Cove. And it's a nice beach showing around. Uh, you can see some beautiful pitch wheat. Yeah, they have some, just saw a cuttlefish back there. And they, they also have a little fish you could jump off. Here's the speed Jump out. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Now, I'd say the overall experience for Smith Cove is probably an 8 out of 10. Yeah, it's pretty solid. Yeah. Like Alright, you ready to jump? Let's do it. So, unfortunately, I think the worst or best part of Grand Cayman is the airport. Arriving or leaving? Arriving is the best, leaving is the worst. So, I'm going to have to give it a 5 out of 10. I hate leaving. Grand Cayman, and that's what we're doing today. Bye. If you're leaving from the JFK Airport, I definitely recommend parking at the TWA Hotel. You get your cars back really quickly, and you get a nice eye camera. And finally, we have Cayman.
Ruben's total score. I think it's easy to say it's 10 out of 10. And that's the end.